Why, why is concentration so important today? I, I feel concentration is at the crux of all human success and endeavors. And if you can't concentrate, you can't manifest or create what you want to create in life, right? And uh, when I grew up, I spent my early childhood in Malaysia and then my teenage life in Australia. And no one ever taught me how to concentrate. The first step is defining what concentration is, right? I always like to start by defining. So we put everybody on the same page, at least people who are listening to me. So I define concentration as the ability to keep my awareness on one thing for an extended period of time. So if I can keep my awareness on you for an extended period of time, I'm concentration, concentrating. If my awareness drifts from you to something outside, to the sound I hear, then I'm being distracted. So how can I be in the moment here with you if I can't concentrate? So everybody talks about the end product, which is be in the moment, be present, be mindful, mindfulness, right? Being sold like, mm -hmm. you know, bottled water everywhere. But they don't teach you concentration. You can't be mindful unless you concentrate. If you're 40 years old or 50 years old and you've never been taught how to concentrate and you've been practicing distraction for the last 35 years and right. now you want to start, it's going to be a struggle. Actually, as a child, people would make fun of me because I couldn't concentrate. But it wasn't until I joined the monastery that my guru taught me that concentration is something that you can learn, you need to learn how to do, and then you need to practice to become better at it. All across every level of society, even in big corporations and stuff, you know, I, I work with a lot of successful entrepreneurs and they'll tell their team, hey guys, we've got this big project that due in two weeks, we need everybody to focus. Right. And I go like, what is the biggest mistake with that statement? He said, you never taught your team how to focus and you don't teach them how to practice concentration. One of the examples I give in my workshops and my talks is I, I pick in someone in the audience and say, who here does not play the piano? Right. And someone will put their hand up and I go like, okay, play the piano. Right. And they go like, so no, play the piano. It's the same way when adults go to kids and they go, can you just focus for a second? Right. You see parents yelling at their kids, right? Raising their voice. Can you just concentrate for a second? But you're telling your child to focus when you've never taught them how to focus. And so I think it gives people permission to be kind to themselves if they're not great at concentrating. That should be the reason why you should have empathy and compassion for yourself, right? Yeah. The question asks yourself, have you ever been taught to concentrate? And have you been taught how to practice concentration? Because learning concentration is not enough if you don't practice it. Now with technology, and technology is not it's not a bad thing. Technology is it's wonderful. It allows us to be connected, yeah. allows us to learn, be inspired, be entertained. It's, I love that you have that perspective because people ask me all the time. People come up to me and they hold their cell phones at me and they go, these things are ruining our lives. Right. And my response always is, absolutely not. Right. What's ruining your life is your inability to exercise discipline around the use of your technology. So let's go into a, you know, awareness. How would you define awareness if concentration is sustained awareness over a period yeah. of time? Your mind doesn't move, but it's your awareness that travels to different areas of the mind. So you hear people say all the time, oh, I have a monkey mind, or my mind travels a lot, or my mind's all over the place. Technically, I believe, from my experience, that's false. The mind doesn't move, but it's awareness that's traveling within the mind. So your awareness can go to the happy area of the mind, it can go to the sad area of the mind, it can go to the scientific area of the mind. Your goal is to control your awareness, that ball of light, and determine where it goes in your mind. Hmm. And your ability to keep that awareness in one area of the mind for an extended period of time is your ability to concentrate. So if you're reflecting on something, you're meditating on something, it's your awareness, it's in one area of the mind, and you're holding it there long enough to actually gain knowledge from it. I know you talk about reading just now, right? Someone opens a book, is reading. The ability to keep the awareness on that page that long enough, light. the ball of light on that page, right? Allows them to gain information from the book. But if they can't keep it there long enough, they don't gain anything, right? So understanding awareness in the mind is the precursor to learning how to concentrate. Perfect. How do we train our concentration? Is it like a muscle? It is like a muscle, kind of. So if you have a spouse or a partner or a loved one that you see every day or you speak to every day, then use that person as an opportunity to practice concentration. Every time you speak with your spouse, could be two hours throughout the day, give your spouse your undivided attention. Now you have two hours of practice and concentration. So after a month, what would you become good at? You have one life.
-hmm. even though I subscribe to the philosophy of reincarnation, I believe that I have one life as me. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's finite, and it's finite, right? I don't believe life is short. I believe it's finite, right? Mm -hmm. I, if I have forty years to live, that's a long time. It's not short, right? But I want to know on my deathbed, I want to be able to look back on my life and go, "That was amazing." And the only way I can say that is if I could be present in all the experiences I've had throughout my life. How am I present in all those experiences? If I am concentrated. The, the rewards are far greater than the efforts put into it. Yeah. And that's something to keep into mind, right? So that if you think about the years and decades to come where you can truly enjoy all the experiences you're creating for yourself, the holidays, the, the time with friends or loved ones, whatever it is you're designing for your life, you can truly experience them once you learn to concentrate. So it's well worth learning how to do.